In this tutorial, I will show you two ways to add noise or grain to your image. The first is the permanent method, and the other one is a non-destructive effect. This technique is somehow useful if you want to add a background to your website or if you just want to apply some grainy art to your photo. Let us start with the permanent method. Open your image in Photoshop. Duplicate your main background or main image. Next, go to Filter, then Noise, and choose Add Noise. Since images have different colors, hues, brightness, and contrast, you may need to play around with the amount of noise that you want to add. For this example, I will just use 10%. Then under Distribution, choose Uniform. Next, click Monochromatic. Using monochromatic will preserve the color of your image, it will just add a grain over it. Then click OK. That's the permanent method where the grain is already applied directly to your image. The only thing that you can do is to use undo or open the original file. That is why duplicating your main image or original image before you begin editing is important. And then next is a non-destructive method. The benefit of this is that the original image is preserved. Again, duplicate your main image. Create a new solid color fill layer. Next, go to Filter, then, Noise, and choose, Add Noise. Then a dialog box will prompt you to choose what you want to do with the fill layer. Either convert to a smart object, rasterize, or cancel. Choose, Rasterize. You may use the same value that we did for the permanent method. Then adjust the brightness and contrast to make the grain more visible. To do that, go to Image, then, Adjustments, and choose Brightness, Contrast. Slide the sliders until the grain appears more visible. Then change the Layer Mode Blending option to Multiply. Or you may use other blending options depending on what effect you need to accomplish. Last, decrease the layer opacity approximately 70%, or depending on your image. That way, you can still clearly see your main image. If you disable the fill layer, you can still see the original image. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video and thank you for watching.